hey guys, how's it going? Ed Star here, back with another Operation Palace video. Um, so get this, I originally uploaded this yesterday, and um, it transpires that my voice was totally muted, and I still don't know why it was muted. I had the same microphone next to me as I normally do. Um, so yeah, it looks like I have to film this video again, and um, yeah. It was the three one loss to Southampton yesterday. Well, not yesterday, on Tuesday. Um I I uploaded this yesterday and yeah, you guys know the thoughts on that. So I'm still really pissed off with the game. Um it was the manner of the way we conceded the goals. I mean I'm trying to remember what I'm giving each player for their player ratings. I mean, let's get cracked straight on into it because I ain't got time to waste today. Um, in goal, Vincente Guaita. Um, first one, I think he probably could have saved it. Um, second one, he should have definitely came out quicker than he did. And um, the third one, he couldn't really do anything about it. So, all in all, not a bad perform. Well, not a good performance. If I'm honest with you. Um, he gets a five out of ten. Um, Tyrick Mitchell at left back. Um, yeah, he didn't really do that well either. If I'm honest with you didn't create as much as I'd like he would um, as much as I thought he would and um, yeah it's very disappointed to see and yeah he only gets a 5 out of 10 as well um, at right back Joel Ward was probably the best of the defenders he, he tried to create a lot more than most of the defenders did in the entire 90 minutes which is a bit ridiculous but you know, Joel Wall did well. He his passing was good. His distribution was good. He possibly could have blocked the first cross, you know, for their first goal. But I'm not going to put that down to him. You know, I'm going to put that down to poor defending, which I'm going to get to in just a moment. Um. But Ward, yeah, he he was he was he was the best of the bad bunch. I'm going to give him a six out of ten. Um. But then we go into Scott Dan. Um. He's gonna probably receive the worst rating for me. He is just him. He he's just finished at this club. He's totally totally finished. I mean, I don't know what you're doing. Like, why don't you block the bloody cross? Or why why don't you just stand off of of Ings? Like, you've been made to look like a mug in that performance. He was, he was just not good at all. Um, he's going to get a 3 out of 10 and probably so is Kiyata if I'm honest with you um, again he was at fault for at least two, one, of the, one or two of them goals I mean just standing off it's just not good enough um, so he's going to get a 3 out of 10 and all um, moving into the midfield um, I'm going to go into um, Jairo Riedewald next um, yeah he, he wasn't good at all um, He's another one of those players where I'd happily let go right now. And you probably, people might look at me and think you're being a bit harsh. And I probably am being a bit harsh, but it's harsh but truthful. And, yeah, it is what it is, you know. But Jairo just didn't distribute it quickly enough yesterday. And he's going to get a 4 out of 10. Um, I'm going to go into the captain, Luka Milivojevic, next. And seriously, get this fucking guy out of the club I mean he, he he's just always getting a yellow card for no for stupid tackles and his penalties are starting to piss me off now I mean yes I accept it was a good save looking at it on reflection now but the factor of the matter is really you're gonna do that in a fucking in a in a fucking game where it, it, I get it doesn't mean anything, but you at least put it in the bottom corner. And Fraser Forster, it was a good save. I'll, I'll give him that. But he was just as bad as Gyro, and he's going to get a four out of ten. Um, going to get into Eberetzi next, and it just didn't click for him to um on on Tuesday at all. Um, I could see what he was trying to do, but it just didn't come off for him. And I hope we can see him back to his best, like he was against Sheffield United. But 
yeah, it wasn't a great night for for Eze. He's going to get a five out of ten. Um, we're going to get into um, Wilfred Zaha next. Apart from winning that penalty, he did absolutely fuck all in that match, and yeah, it it was very disappointing to see. Um, yeah, so I can't give him a high mark. I'm going to give him a four out of ten. I'm just giving him a 4 out of 10 for winning the penalty. If it wasn't for that, he would have got a much lower rating. Um, then I'm going to get into Jordan Ayew. Um, him and Ben Teke were the ones that really tried to create something. I mean, Jordan Ayew did dribble the ball pretty well. He, he made a couple of good chances for Ben Teke to get on the end of. So I appreciate Jordan Ayew's effort, and I'm going to give him a 6 out of 10. But... The best of the best of the bad bunch was um, Christian Benteke. Um, I feel sorry for this man. I really do. You know, having to put up with that shit around him. I mean, he scored eight goals this season. It's for me. I've said this, and I got criticised quite a lot on my social media platforms. I said Benteke has been exceptional this season, and he has been exceptional. But the factor of the matter is, you know. He needs something to work around with him. He needs the balls into the box. And a lot of them have been... Um, a lot of the deliveries have been poor. And, you know, he did well to get on... Um, bring it down and control a lovely finish past Forster in the second minute. But that was, that was you know, as good as it got for us. And... I've, I'm going to give Ben Teke a seven out of ten. He was very good. He could have created. He could have scored you know, a couple more, if I'm honest with you. And it looks like we've got our Ben back, which is good. So that was the pretty much the starting eleven. Um, the substitutes that came on: Schlup, Batshuayi, and Matata didn't really have much of an impact on the game. It's because we were already three-one down by that point. So. It doesn't really matter, so they all get a 5 out of 10. Um, Hodgson, he picked the team that I wanted to go for. wanted him to pick, but it just didn't work. And I don't know what he's doing behind the scenes to motivate them, but if he's not, then he seriously needs to get the fuck out. He needs to get the fuck out of this club anyway. I mean, it's, it's just not good enough. Okay, so that's going to close my... Um, review of the game off um, we try and look forward to Aston Villa on Sunday so I'm doing this re-upload on Friday so not only are you going to get the review today you're going to get a preview today as well so um, I'm going to have to re-record the FIFA video um, unfortunately that means I have to miss out the last episode of season 7 and I'm really sorry about that, but I honestly didn't know why my mic wasn't picking up. Um, so I'll have to let people know what happened, but that's going to conclude this episode of Operation Palace. If you've enjoyed it, please make sure you leave a like, you subscribe, and um, if, you, if you're definitely new around here, please subscribe. It is, it is totally free, um, and it would support the channel. Um, but one thing I do want to do before I go is I have got my new stick. Just so you know, I'm going to put my phone in here. And put my phone right in there. And vlog the games. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, but yeah, thank you to everyone that's watched. And I'll catch you for another video very, very soon. Bye.